We've had lots of trampoline time now that I'm healthy. Winnetka mom, Teresa Claybrook, and her 12-year-old son Cameron are on the other side of COVID-19, completely recovered. And now Teresa is hoping her antibodies will help other COVID patients. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe is live outside the University of Chicago Hospital, where COVID survivors can actually donate. She has the story of Teresa's journey, and it's a story you'll see only on 2. Good morning, Erin. It was first back on March 3rd when Teresa Claybrook started having symptoms after returning from a girl's ski trip to Vail, Colorado. Every time I would start coughing, it would feel like my lung was going to fly out of my body. Her first two visits to urgent care left Teresa diagnosed with the flu and a bronchial infection. Finally, 13 days later, she was tested after finding out others on her trip had COVID-19. I mean, it's scary. You get that diagnosis, and, and the, first, the first thing you have is fear and kind of a disbelief. Her husband and two other kids felt sick for one day, but had no clue if they had it. Meanwhile, seventh grader Cameron got it four days later as a presumed COVID-19 case. I had a fever one day, and I had a really bad cough. After quarantine and being symptom-free, Teresa wanted to help others and started researching donating plants. Asthma. After seeing reports, antibodies were helping critically ill patients. I kind of feel like it was my personal obligation to, you know, I've survived so I can give back. But her first attempt failed. She went to a plasma center, waited for two hours and was declined. The reason, having hepatitis A 25 years ago from eating bad food. She didn't give up. After many more calls, she had an appointment at the University of Chicago. They're so appreciative and you know, it's it's still like I had to be for the for the blood donation. I had to be um, I had to be proven positive within three days. They will have my pl my plasma with um, ill patients. And who knows, maybe this week someone will be saved because of it. Turns out Teresa was the only one there. It feels like the whole process should be easier and the way to get signed up should be easier and the way to give should be easier. You know, we're all in this together. Now, Teresa plans to be back here after 50 plus days, and she hopes that others who've recovered from COVID-19 will do the same too. We're live in Hyde Park, Mugo Odigwe, CBS 2 News.